We're going to start talking about diamonds specifically now, and we're joined by the Chief Executive Officer of Diamond Corp, Paul Loudon. Paul, thanks very much indeed for joining us today. No, uh, let's talk specifically to start with about your lace property, mm -hmm. southwest of Johannesburg, and we're talking, what, 500,000 carats expected to be extracted annually once it's fully up and running, mm -hmm. and this should produce a mine life of around 25 years. That's right. So how do we get from here to that full production process? Well, lace was, a, lace was an old mine, so it, it was operated between 1900 and 1930, and then it was shut down. So it was in fact then uh, kept on care and maintenance till 1939, and then De Beers bought it for the sole purposes of keeping it shut, and they kept it shut for 75 years. So w we acquired the property uh, in 2005, uh, and in conjunction with our BE partner, we have built a 1.2 million tonne a year plant. And initially, we treated um, some of the tailings, which is the, the waste material, or the, or the previously treated material from the old mining. And we were doing that um, through until 2008 when the diamond price fell out of bed, um, w which left us with a hole in cash flow, which we have now filled uh, with, some, with an equity raise and continue what we were then doing, which was to, to re-access the underground workings below any of the old workings. So right now we are hard, we're probably about two thirds of the way through, through sinking a 4.5 metre by 4.5 metre decline tunnel which allows us to access those old workings. Okay, and I understand you may need to get some extra cash what, within the next nine months or so? Yeah. Six and a half million yeah. being talked about, is that? Yeah, well, we're, we've, got enough, we've got enough cash to complete that job. So th we will be into that Kimberlite in December. We'll extract a bulk sample in January and we'll process that material in February, um, which will answer to the two outstanding questions, which is what exactly is the mining grade at the level at which we're going to start mining? Because we know that this pipe gets progressively higher grade as it goes deeper. Um, and it will also tell us what the carat value, the actual carat value of those diamonds are. Once those two questions are answered, we would expect a re-rating of our share price and then we need to also do a capital raise. So yeah, we need to raise about seven, six and a half, seven million pounds. Okay, now th the target is the possibility of a cash flow of about three million pounds from 2012 and then up to 15 million from 2015. Is that about right in terms yeah, of throwing that into the mix? Well, I think that I think we could probably accelerate that that uh, that uh, that rate of cash flow because you know when those estimates were done, um, which was done by one of our brokers, Fairfax, it was before we've seen a considerable re, um, increase in the in the price of diamonds. So in fact, the diamond price now that that we should receive. Um, for the lace project is, is about $120 a carat. So what that means is that our initial production about 2012 should see us with cash flow of, you know, I bring it back to, back to dollars, it should be about $15 million. So it's quite a lot more than, than we originally expected because that diamond price has increased so strongly, or it recovered so strongly in the last 12 months. Now you've also got the prospecting rights over two properties around that. This is what mm -hmm. Silver Bank and Morag wrote. Yeah. Uh, what are the plans there? Do you leave them while you're <coughs> developing yeah. lace or? Yeah, for the moment. I mean, lace, lace, we've got 14 million carats. We've got 35 million tons of kimberlite there that we know. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's a long life mine. Um, our con we, you know, at lace, we concentrate on that, but you know, we'll then look at some of those other properties once we, once we get lace you know, operating again. Okay. And meanwhile, the, the, the next stage or the other uh, arm of this is your uh, joint venture with uh, Geo Perspectives in Botswana. Mm -hmm. When do you you've had some encouraging signs from mm, there? When do you so. decide where do you go when you go to the full feasibility study? Well, next um, we are awaiting now um, some micro diamond results back from the second kimberlite that we've discovered there called J5. Uh, kimberlite looks very exciting, and those micro diamond results are back from Canada in November. Um, we already know we've got one 10 hectare Kimberlite J1 diamondiferous. So next year, then we will we will bulk test both of those, and the, the, depending on which are the better results that come through, we'll determine which priority, which one we do to do first. And you will be able to develop that alongside lace, well, absolutely, not geographically alongside yes. lace, but the two at the same time financially. Yeah. Well, you know, by the time that we're developing. You know, let, let's say it takes us about another two years to complete a feasibility study in Botswana. By that stage, we'll be strongly cash flow positive from from lace, and we, you know, our aim would be to develop the project from internal resources. Okay, this this is a nasty one, but you're at the stage now where people start making offers because you, you've done all the effectively done much of the hard work. Mm -hmm. Are there any offers out there? There's lots of stuff going on with the Firestone diamonds. There's possibilities of African diamonds being acquired. Um, 
Is there some M&A activity in the sector? Yeah, there is, there is M&A activity yeah. in the sector. I mean, what we've got and what a few of the other companies have got is, is something very rare, which is a long-life diamond if it's kimberlite. The world is running out of diamonds. You know, we're, we're down to less than 20 years of mine supply from known, known sources. So the M&A activity will increase. Are we talking to people? We talk to a lot of people all the time. But, uh, uh, you know, having done, as you said, having done all the hard work, mm. um, we'll look to get this stock considerably re-rated based on results. Right. Um, if an offer came along, sure, there's always a price. Um, but at the same time, our team and our track and, and the history of our team is that we build mines and we run mines. So we're very happy to build and run this mine if we don't get a, an offer that, that, that we think is... You know, okay. Good for our shareholders. Well, let, let's talk about that share price. At Fairfax, the broker is saying that it remained at a distressed level at, at 8p, and it's down from 19. Sure. They've got a target of 7p, 17p. So you think you're undervalued, and you think there should be a re-rating? There, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm certain there will be a re-rating. As soon as we answer those, those outstanding questions of what's the carrot value, what's the, what's the grade at the mining level, any, anyone can do, do the math then, and you can work out that there is significant cash flow down the line. And, and we don't need a lot of capital to finish this mine development because you know, we'd already invested £12 million in building a plant. We own all of our own underground mining fleet. Mm. Um, the, the, you know, it's, there's not a lot left to, to bring those, that cash flow you know, on, on stream. Okay. As I said, you know, Okay, Paul, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. That's uh, Paul Loudon, the Chief Executive Officer of Diamond Corp.